Hello students, this question is asked in day 2017 mechanical morning session. Now you are given the values of x and f of x, okay? The value of f of x are the different values of x. Now here if you are observing, at x is equal to 0, the value of f of x is 3. x is equal to 1, the value of f of x is 4. x is equal to 2, the value of f of x is 5. Now what is the question? We are integrating the f of x from 0 to 1. We have to find the difference in the value of f of x when integrated by trapezoidal and Simpson's rule from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. Now the conventional method is that, the actual method of solving is that we have to use the trapezoidal method and find the value. We have to use the Simpson's method and find the value. And then you have to see the difference between both the values. Then you have to write the answer what you are getting. Okay? And the options are given as 0, options are given as 0, 2, 4, and 8. Okay? So generally we are going to use the Simpson's 1 by 3 rule for a Simpson's method and trapezoidal method. Here it's not required even to calculate the values. We can directly say the answer using the shortcut. Why? Because if you observe here, it is going to be a line. Why? At x is equal to 0, the value is 3. At x is equal to 1 by 2, the value is 4. At x is equal to 1, the value is 5. So it is going to be a line. Now when you are integrating a line using a trapezoidal method, the error using the trapezoidal method will be equal to 0. It means that when you are doing the numerical integration using the trapezoidal method, the answer is going to be the actual value. The answer is going to be the actual value because the trapezoidal method is generally going to give you a, a value with an error. Now in this case, when you are integrating a line, then the error in the trapezoidal method is going to be equal to 0. The error in the Simpson's method is also going to be equal to 0. Generally what we know, Simpson's method, it's going to be more accurate when compared to the trapezoidal method. But when you are integrating a line, whether you are doing the trapezoidal method or with the Simpson's method, the value that you are going to get is going to be same. And that will be equal to the actual value. Okay. So it means that when the value that you are going to get in both the cases, okay, in both the formulas of trapezoidal and Simpson's is going to be the same. It means that the answer is going to be the same. The difference between both the answers will be equal to zero. I can directly answer it as option A. So the answer for this particular question is option A.